أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to another uh, lesson in perfecting our recitation of the Holy Quran I hope your Shah Ramadan is going well and we're all reaping the benefits of this amazing uh, spiritual month We'll carry on with our uh, lesson and uh, today we will be discussing the makharij of Alif and Ayn so, uh, these two uh, these two letters are, are letters that are oft confused so I will go through it in as much detail as I can just so that we can uh, finally perfect it once and for all so as we can see Alif and Ayn are both throat letters Alif comes from the bottom part of the throat A whereas Ayn comes from the middle part of the throat Ayn comes from the middle part of the throat which is similar to ha. So you remember when we said we capture the air with ha in the middle part of the throat? So ayn is similar. You're putting a bit more emphasis in it. A Whereas a, alif, the bottom part of the throat, is nice and simple. A. Remember we can we should not over pronounce it. So we should not over pronounce a to pronounce it as a. And the same for ayn. We should not over pronounce it. To, otherwise, it just sounds a bit odd and strange. So, just going through a few examples of how um, how important it is to pronounce Alif and Ayn in the right way. Because, as we all know, if we pronounce the words a bit wrong and differently, then it changes the whole meaning. So, for example... Amin with an alif means trusted. Whereas if we say Amin with an ayn, it means blinded. So just something to ponder and to uh, be aware of that the importance of pronouncing the letters correctly. Let's practice. Again, we've taken examples from surahs and, and salah so that we can, uh, uh, we're familiar with, with uh, the phrases and we can uh, perfect our recitation. So the first one is صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم So as you can see, the two ayns. Here we're going to focus on the two ayns. Remember what we said about the ayn? The ayn is where is pronounced from the middle part of the throat. We put a bit more emphasis. Ah, صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. A lot of times we 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 hear where where there's no emphasis put on the ayn, and we say صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. That is wrong. As we've seen, it can change the meaning. So we have to put some emphasis. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم. Nice. Okay, next one. Allahu Samad. Nice and simple. Alif. Alif comes from the bottom part of the throat. A. Uh. So we just pronounce it as Allahu Samad. Uh, we should not over pronounce it as Allahu Samad. It just sounds wrong and it's incorrect. So Allahu Samad. Very good. One thing to note is that if there is a sukoon on top of Alif or Hamza, the voice is completely cut off. There is no echo sound to it. So for example, in, in this example, we have the Hamza with a sukoon there. It's Mu'min. It's not Mu'min. Um, you do not elongate the, the sukoon of the Hamza. Mu'min. Just to stop the mu'min. However, when it comes with to ayn, and if the ayn carries a sukun, the sound is extended a bit. Ya'lamun. Just makes it a bit more flowy and a bit easier to pronounce. Ya'lamun. Because if you put a stop, then it becomes a bit difficult. Ya'lamun. You cannot pronounce the ayn properly. So it is ya'lamun. Another example from Salah, Subhana Rabbi al A'la wa bihamdi. So this can be a bit tricky, but even 
uh, it's, a, it's a very good opportunity to differentiate between the two letters. So as you can see, you have the alif there, and then straight after you have the ayn sukun. So a lot of times we'll hear it, uh, people say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la wa bihamdi, or ala wa bihamdi. But there is a clear alif with a fatha and then ayn. So it is Subhana Rabbi al-A'la wa bihamdi. And we are applying the slight extension on the sukun of the ayn. A'ala wa bihamdi. And uh, finally, our last uh, example. We start with this all the time with our uh, in anything that we do and in our Quran. A'udhu billah. A lot of times I've heard people say A'udhu billah. Uh, A'udhu billah, not so, but more so A'udhu billah. There is clear distinction between the two letters. A and A'in. A'udhu billah. A'udhu billah. Okay. So that is makharij for Alif and A'in. Hope this make, uh, makes, uh, hope this helps and uh, we can make a difference in our pronunciation. Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts or feedback, then feel free to email us on education at uh, Otherwise, I'll see you soon, inshallah. I just pray that we can uh, perfect our recitation uh, soon, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.